Well, California's gubernatorial recall election is heating up, and so are the attack ads against Gavin Newsom. Let's start with Republican John Cox. You might remember he lost to Newsom in 2018. This time, his campaign was asking you to pick between a beauty and a beast. Take a look. California's choice, beauty. Pretty boy. Or a beast. We need big, beastly changes in Sacramento. I'll make them. Recall the beauty. Meet the nicest, smartest beast in California, John Cox. Cox has also launched a bus tour trolling Newsom across California with a special guest, that 1,000-pound Kodiak bear there. His second stop on the tour, the French Laundry, the restaurant in Napa Valley where Newsom infamously dined last year as he told his constituents not to have Thanksgiving dinner with their families, of course, because of COVID. Now, the other candidate with a new Newsom attack ad is Caitlyn Jenner, the ad uh, in the ad, Jenner frames herself as a compassionate disruptor, her words, fighting against elitist career politicians. All right, let's welcome in our brand power panel to talk more about these two ads. Back with us, Allison Maloney, founder of Allison May Public Relations. She's also a media, a Newsmax contributor. And back with us again as well, marketing and branding expert, Dr. John Tantillo, an applied research psychologist. Great to have you both with us. Great to be here. here. All right, so I love the John Cox ad, John, uh, because Kodiak bears are cool, uh, number one. Number two, uh, this has that secondary effect. When you have an ad, it creates some controversy. So now PETA is enraged about this, and that generates more headlines. That's kind of the goal here, right, to troll the other side. And there's no such thing as bad publicity nowadays when you're running for office, especially if you're John Cox, and you got to get your name recognition up there. Or am I wrong? Yeah. Uh, well, I, I kind of see it differently from a uh, branding and marketing perspective. If you want to um, get, if you want to win, you got to get the most votes. And this, what this does is it just delineates what Newsom's been talking about, which is it looks like it's a Republican uh, play. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my people in and do things the way I want them done, as opposed to bringing people together. There could have been a better way of bringing people together and uh, stretching out the uh, hands so that what people do is get along and make California work again. Allison, uh, you know, of course, the bear is uh, the iconic symbol of California, kind of, you know, obviously that's, that's here. But the beauty and the beast thing with, with John Cox uh, how do you think that's going to play in California? Because, you know, obviously, Gavin Newsom is a handsome man, and that, that's obviously important out there to those folks in California. I mean, his hair alone is... Yeah, his hair is great, right? You know, I, I do, I think that this ad, right, it has everyone talking, um, obviously, that's creating headlines. I just didn't think it had any, it has any legs, John. I think that it doesn't talk really about more about California. I think Caitlyn Jenner's ad was really well done. I think she stole, She told a story, and as John talked about, what are you going to do for California? She talked about how she came to California and how it was and how she's going to bring everyone together. Um, so I think the Beauty and the Beast, it's it's nice. It's People will talk about it, but I just don't think it, it has a lot of legs. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously, John Cox <laughs> is in a, in a tough situation, right? Because when it comes to name recognition, when you look at Gavin Newsom, Caitlyn Jenner, you know, people watching the show probably don't even know who John Cox is. They more likely know who the other two folks are. Uh, we certainly talk about them a lot more. Uh, you know, this whole kind of I'm an outsider thing that Caitlyn Jenner is doing, John, she is an outsider, but she, you know, she's ubiquitous. The Kardashian show is always, you know, we've watched that whole progression. Does that help or hurt her, you know, knowing that much about someone's personal life in a race like this? I think it, it, it helps her in the sense that um, I think she's on the side of the angels. And I might get a little bit of flack for saying this, but I think most people in this country uh, side with our, uh, our daughters and our granddaughters in the sense that um, biologically um, uh, uh, reared I should say biologically, uh, biological ma males should not play uh, women's sports. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's it really is something that um, 
from the uh, yeah, man John, it is, with I'll jump street. in here. Yeah. It is one of those things. It does not affect a lot of people, but it has become a major issue, something that people talk about. And he has, she has that unique ability to speak about it from her own perspective. And, you know, that always resonates yeah. with people. We are out of time, guys. Great to see you, Allison. John, thanks so much. We'll talk to you guys again on our next Brand Power segment.